A well-defined chin gives you a distinctive profile. If you don't have the kind of chin you wish you did, there is a non-surgical procedure that can change that. Here to explain is Dr. Alexander Rivkin, medical director of the West Side Medical Spa in Los Angeles. I call this procedure uh, non-surgical chin enhancement. What it is is a series of very precise injections to change the uh, shape of the chin to the patient's preference. Um, it is a substitute for uh, surgical chin enhancement, which involves an implant and general anesthesia and all that kind of stuff. And this is a much easier and uh, risk-free way of doing the same thing. And even actually, it's a way of doing that better because you're, the physician is much more in control of where the injections are going, of what the shape of the chin is going to be, and it can be tailored to the patient's preference. This procedure is an injection. It's an injection of a filler substance called radiance into the area of the chin, and it's much more precise than a surgical procedure because you can expand just the areas that you want to expand, and you can mold the chin and make the chin into whatever shape that you want. The substance that I'm injecting is um, it's calcium hydroxylapatite. And what that is is a substance that's been used in surgery for a long time in, as, as an implant, as a solid implant. It's similar in its effect to collagen, which is, means that when you, you inject it into the skin and with, uh, you know, into a certain you know, deep layer of the skin, and it lifts it up, it plumps up the skin and it stays plumped up. It, as, as a physician, I want to make sure that what I'm injecting, you know, there's no allergic reaction, it's non-animal based, it doesn't get absorbed by the body, there's no, you know, and it doesn't move. In the chin, it probably will last about two and a half years, two years, something like that. A patient is a male, and when he comes in, he's, he was saying that he had a, a weak chin a chin, he didn't like his chin. He didn't think he had a masculine enough, you know, chin. And he didn't, he thought that his chin was tapered down too much, that it wasn't really wide, and it made his face look very round. And he didn't, he didn't like that. He wanted, a, you know, more of a squarish face. What I'd like to do is to widen and square off his chin so that it's a little bit more classically masculine looking. And then what I'd also like to do is project it. So make it, right now it's, if you look at his profile, his nose is fairly prominent. His chin, it doesn't recede, but it's not as, it's not as prominent. It's his, balance, his profile is out of proportion, so that when you look at it in profile, the nose and the chin kind of flow. The reason it's successful is that the patient has it all under control. They have a mirror in one hand. As I'm doing the procedure, I stop. I say, okay, look at this. Tell me, tell me what you think. Do you think this is, are we going in the right direction? Do you think this is good? And it's, it's all up to them, you know? That's where the success lies. Success doesn't lie in what I think is perfection. Success lies in making the patient happy. You know, when they see themselves and they say, well, this is what I really want to look like, you know, success means achieving that goal, and that's, that's what this can bring, and that's nice.